Hello and welcome to a map first look on Somerset Farms. So, this came out the other day. Uh, I'm recording this a few couple of days after it came out. Um, the map is available for both PC and console. Um, a bit about the map. So, it's obviously it's based in uh, based in the UK. Obviously, being called Somerset Farms. Um, it's got 50 fields. It has five yards. It has custom lighting apparently interesting so we'll have, a, have a look at that um it's got uk number plates as well built into the map which is really good so yeah i'm uh looking forward to having a look around this map to be honest because i haven't really seen much of this map i only just saw it when it came out the other day so it's uh, gonna be interesting to have a look at it so obviously i haven't looked at the map at all so we'll jump in from the uh time down and uh, yeah here we go Smoke's going a bit quick. <laughs> the proper fire going on in there. So here we go. So I think it's quite a yeah, it's quite a small map. It's not going to be for large scale equipment on this map. But then again, in Somerset, I would expect that. In all honesty. So yes, we've got a, a yard here. <laughs> the uh, collectibles aren't going to be too hard to find. Not sure about the ground texture. Then again, you can always paint over that. That's that's not a problem. So yeah, it's only a little little yard just here. Start off with some decent equipment though. Some big old tractors. Even if you didn't want to use these, to be fair, you sell these, and you can still afford a um, a decent sized tractor. Obviously, with all UK number plates. Nice, nice. Yeah, I definitely think this map is gonna be <clears throat> small small scale farming. Got a, a little yard here, no grain silo here. See we've got another yard over the road. Bit of storage more collectibles he starts you off with plenty um plenty of equipment which is nice there's like there's plenty of room as well if you wanted to edit the yard so if you wanted to put your own sheds in as well you could do i don't know whether we can sell any of these sheds that are already in um let's have a look no it doesn't appear you can sell any of these no No, so they're all they're all fixed in but you can still you can base um much customize the yards to how you want them and i mean all these collectibles you uh you'd start off with enough cash to as well got a cow shed here about 150 cows here which is nice very nice got a grain silo here which is good don't know how much you can store here i always for forget whether you it tells you in fs no it doesn't in 22 so i don't know how much that would hold yeah that'd be one thing if you could like delete some of these buildings but still not not nice enough yard plenty of space to like edit it and everything so slowly there collectibles <laughs> nice it just seems we've got cows at this yard i can't see any other animals it's obviously going to be our sleep trigger i would think maybe not around the back maybe no obviously isn't a sleep trigger here where are we just here doesn't seem to be a sleep trigger, no. Uh, so that's a big, big silo, that is. What would that silo hold? Have a quick look. I think it's probably that one that it is. So it holds 800k, which is pretty decent, to be honest, for a starting silo. 
doesn't seem like you have a sleep trigger. You'll be able to choose which farm from the off go, which farm you want to be based at and place a sleep trigger in. Which is quite nice. It's quite nice to give you that, that option. If we hop in a tractor. And we'll go and have a, a drive around and see what's about. We'll go down this way first, I think, because we've got a few few cell points and whatnot down here. So yeah, smallest smallest fields on this on this map. So you're not gonna need massive equipment on this map. It's definitely for the more sort of small to medium size um, equipment. I wouldn't even say you'd need medium size really on uh, on this map it'd probably be more small size got a floating got a floating ever so slightly got a foresty area here I don't know how much this is going to be that's the board of the map I think yeah that doesn't actually cost you anything you can actually buy that and then go and cut them trees down in there. Which is quite good, quite handy. Got a cell point here. What is this going to be a cell point of? This is the sawmill, which makes sense, next to a forestry area. Water tank there. If we go further, we've got the animal dealership as well, which we'll go and have a look at. Not sure what's there. That might be a placeable area. We're going to have a look at that too. But yeah, this is your sawmill just here scattered in uh, <laughs> collectibles yeah quite simple but nice enough see where everything uh, needs to go wood chips there perhaps yeah quite handy got it here all next to these trees you can cut these trees down for free and then put them straight in the sawmill, which is it's it's uh, which is good. It's like from the get go, there's plenty of ways to uh, to make money on this map. So we keep going further down. I've got the animal dealership down here, just here. I'm guessing. Got the biogas plant here as well. Which he does say in the description you can use as a bit of a placeable area. I mean, you've got plenty of room if you wanted to put silage bunkers down here. Like this one, for example. You could put, like, obviously, I don't own the land. But you could put, like, a good couple along there. Or even here, to be fair. You could put a couple sort of along there like that and put quite a few. One, two, three. Yeah, three at least. We'll have them that way even. One, two, three. Not sure how much this land is. Have a quick look. It's going to set you back 152k. But still, I think for BGA, I'd say that's pretty, pretty reasonably priced, in all fairness. Got your animal dealership there, which is pretty standard. Yeah, there's plenty of space to, to do silage. If you wanted to do si like silage in a big way on this map, there's definitely an option, uh, option to. This must be a water refill point here. Jim from the massive icon. Yeah, there's your your lake for your water. Though I'd imagine the the cow shed at least it would have water plumbed in. There's your water anyway. If you, if you needed it for like your greenhouses, it's uh, it's there. We're gonna make our way back up. Got like a little storage area here, little shed. Got some more collectibles. You definitely have no problem buying the collectibles on this map. 
for sure. Yeah, quite a nice uh, little bale shed, I'd say. Put quite a few uh, hay bales or straw bales in there. That's quite a nice little shed there. Ah, it's got chickens here. This is the chicken pen. So there you go. That's where you'd um, put the food for the chickens. And then the eggs, <coughs> I'm guessing, would spawn on this little, there you go, on this little area just here. So there's your chickens. That's if you want to do chickens. Just buy field number 14. If you buy the chicken pasture and field 14, get this field just here, which has got uh, got corn in it currently. That's quite good. You get the animal pasture and the a field with it. You can fit, if it works, if it wants to work. There we go. You can fit 100 chickens in this pen. So decent enough, I'd, uh, I'd say. Quite a, quite a good bit of land to buy. You get a field... A storage shed and a chicken pasture which is, is quite good looks like there's a shed further up there we'll drive on further down i think there's the vibe i get from this map is it would be a very good customizable map you could definitely make the map into into what you'd want want it to be so here we go so this i believe is a sheep pasture judging from it quite a nice sheep pasture as well quite a nice yard so how many can we get here we can get 200 sheep in this pen just here so there's your water so you've got no water plumbed in for the uh for the sheep i needed to, should have checked really with the uh with the cows whether you had to give the cows water let's just quickly run back over no, so I think the cows have got water. Yeah, they've got water plumbed in. So it seems the sheep, they need water. So that water cell point, cell point, refill point just over here, that's going to come in handy if you want to do sheep on this map. Because they haven't got water plumbed in. It's still quite a nice little yard. Could obviously use this shed for bales. Not quite in line with the frame. But yeah, nice big uh, hay barn. Put your hay in to feed your sheep. And also perhaps uh, store your wool. That's quite good. Let's have a quick look and see how much this yard is. So we get field 39 as well, and it's 121k. So not bad. Not bad. Field 39 is quite, uh, quite a decent sized field as well. You could probably, if you wanted to, plough it so you could make the field a bit a bit bigger quite a bit more closer to the uh, to the hedgerow and make the field even bigger so quite a um quite a funny shape field but yeah there you go that is the sheep pasture just there so we'll hop back in the tractor and we'll carry on the tour again you've got room to uh if you wanted to place like a water refill point down here there's enough room to do it so that's always an option as well now i think the best course of action is to go back down this way and keep going past our main farm and then carry on again up the road and go that way because we've got to cover the the shop the horse yard we've got some got another yard here as well and a pig yard so we've got a, quite a bit more to cover so i'll, uh, I'll be back in a minute when uh, we hopefully reach the shop okay so we're just coming up to the shop on our right hand side just here support your local farmers so we're pulling here to an agco dealership oh not driving to the wall agco dealership first time i think i've seen an agco dealership in um fs22 haven't seen one yet Obviously, Matthew Ferguson is the uh, is the main brand, but uh, yeah, quite a uh, quite a standard uh, shop. Quite nice, to be honest. Quite uh, 
Well, I like that. Got some, <laughs> got some floating pallets. Interest a few more, a few more collectibles and whatnot. But yeah, nice, nice enough, um, nice enough shop. I wonder if we own this mower. Is that an actual mower? No. That is indeed just an object. That's quite a good object, though. That's quite well detailed. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, quite quite a nice shot. Decent enough. You're going to be able to buy quite a lot of equipment in this area. It's a big, quite a big area. So that's the horse yard as well over there, which we're going to go to next. You haven't got to drive too far to the shop. Enjoy nature. Hilly countryside like it would be in uh, Somerset. This is quite a big, uh, quite a big yard. Plenty of storage at this yard. What have we got around the side here? Guessing that's manure, maybe. Possibly. Or it's just a, um, a little uh, storage point. Got the same shed that we had at the sheep. So again, you're going to be able to put plenty of plenty of hay bales. And whatnot for your horses. If we have a look at the horse paddock. We can fit eight horses in the horse paddock, which is cool. Yeah, there's plenty of plenty of storage at uh, at this farm. Nice little arena as well to exercise your horses in, which is cool. Quite nicely done, that is. <laughs> Got some collectibles on top. Yeah, nicely done, that is. Nicely done. So, we're going to go back on the main road. I think we've got, just over there, a contractor's type of yard. I think is what I'm judging it off. Because there's quite a bit of storage down here. And we've also got a uh, grain silo. A few bigger fields down uh, down this end as well. Bill, bill 36 got some more cell points here we'll pull over here because we obviously want to go and have a look at the contractor's yard anyway so what is our cell points here so we've got Cotswold stores and we've got FSC stores bale cell points you've got a bale cell point and a grain cell point just here uh, that might be the only grain cell point. I got farm store bay one as well, which is up here. So this could be actually could be a sell point rather than a, a contractor's yard. But we'll have a look when we when we drive up. But this is where you sell your bales anyway, just here in this uh, in this big shed. One thing I've noticed <laughs> on this map. It's very rare to see a straight lamppost. They all seem to have been knocked. <laughs> there's not many that are straight on this map. <laughs> Looks like there's there's someone who likes to crash into lampposts <laughs> on this uh, on this farm. So do I turn down here? Nope. Keep going. Just here. windy track down here yeah, I'm not sure if this is a like an actual yard if it's a cell point or if it could be both um, seems like it could be both so that's obviously that's another bail cell point yep yeah. And then you've got Farm Store Bay 1, which is again, that is also another grain cell point. This, I think, is another farm silo from what I looked at. Yeah, for me, silo 2. So that's another silo for 800,000 litres of grain there. So it's, I think it's half and half. It's half contractor's yard, half cell point. 
We've got these big sheds for storage. Nice shed that is, like that shed. Plenty of room as well to customise it, place a few more sheds um, and whatnot. I would imagine, to be honest, this would be quite a good starting yard because if you wanted to, you could place like a little cow or sheep pen here. If I was to look in construction and perhaps go with um, this one, you could perhaps just, just about fit it there. Or if you want to go with perhaps sheep, sheep would fit there really nicely. Sheep or pigs, you could put a couple of them there. That'd be quite a good, um, quite a look, good starter's yard. Or even do a few chicken pens. Let's look at some sheds. Fit some decent sized sheds in there as well. Got a couple more sheds there. Even a farmhouse. Farmhouse will fit there quite nicely. So yeah, it'd be quite a good starter's yard, this. I'm not sure how much it is. So for the yard, it's 81,000. And then the uh, the third is 137,000. Nevertheless, either way, it is it's a nice yard. Nice yard to uh, to do something with. I mean, even though this map is small, it would still make, I think, a good MP map to have two or three players on it. Because you've got multiple yards. And all the yards are pretty, pretty decent sized. Like, you've got a good couple yards each player to have the of decent size so i think even though it's a small map you know the fields aren't huge i think it would be a, it'd make a good mp map obviously i think if you're having like eight or ten players and that'd be too many players it's obviously not a map for that sort of size but if you wanted just a little mp game i think this would be a good map to to do it on got a pig yard here just on the hill There we go, so that's our pig pen. Doesn't appear to be a grain silo up here. But then again, we were to have a look at putting one in. You could fit one there quite easily. Obviously it would uh, it would smooth the ground out. If there's anywhere else to place it. You could perhaps place it over here as well. Again, there's still room to, to be able to place one. Which is, is nice, again. Nice to have the option. So how many pigs can we fit in this pen? We can fit 400. So a nice amount of pigs we can fit in there. It'd be nice if there was a gate. <laughs> pigs are just going to walk straight out of there. But yeah, quite a nice little yard again. If you were doing MP, again, would make, I think, a decent decent yard to start with because again like i say you can you could perhaps cut these trees down and uh place in a big grain silo here you've got storage for for bales and machinery but it, it's it's very much the vibe i get from this map it's definitely very customizable you can definitely shape it to how you want it i i've noticed as well there are a few things <laughs> it could be with a fence post there and a gate there there's there's a few niggly bits you could perhaps say with this map but i think they'll get reported and um steve mods will fix them in a in a later update but uh, overall i think it's a nice map it's a nice if you wanted to play with small equipment i think it is again it's a nice map to play with small equipment on but uh, yeah let me know what your thoughts are guys in the comment section down below if you have enjoyed the video as always please remember to hit that like button and if you're new to the channel as well consider hitting the uh, subscribe button as well and i will hopefully see you all in the next video thank you very much for watching bye guys